While there has been efforts from the various governments across Africa to shift their respective countries from cash to cashless economies, the World Bank estimates about 90% of retail transactions on the continent are still cash-based. In Cameroon, the cashless economy drive is being spearheaded by several financial technology companies, one of them being New Life Technologies SAL. New Life Technologies is, is a startup that is based in, in Yaoundé, Cameroon. Um, we, we created New Life Technologies because we, we, we have a dream. We want to take Africa to the next level of uh, when it comes to technology. And so in 2019, April 2019, uh, New Life was uh, officially registered. However, we, we could not really start um, activities Though we were working remotely, but because we lacked the, the necessary funds, so we decided to get some contracts like website. Even though these contracts were at very desperately low rate, and some people had to mock at us, and we did some promotions, and they were insulted. But we had a vision, we had a dream, we had where we wanted to get to. So that didn't matter. We wanted to raise some money to start our own product. So in, uh, April tw in February 2020, we officially started, we got some staff and uh, we started our own product and we even got some clients for mobile apps that we, we work with and we have been able to raise these funds to be able to run our own, our own product. And I want to say that we have, uh, we have grown faster than we, we really thought and we are getting to, we hope that our dream to build a server farm in, uh, in, uh, in Africa. New Life Technologies, SAL, recently launched a financial inclusion application, SoftPay. It is a mobile application that uses the scan and pay method and allows people in poor regions of the world, especially in Africa and Asia, to access financial products digitally with or without internet. SoftPay has its uh, uh, APIs that e-commerce sites can be able to, to incorporate if they cannot access other payment um, methods like this it can boost africa's uh, e-commerce environment and uh, cashless cashless um, payment so now um, what we we need to know what role is soft pay playing in both the cameroon and africa uh, financial inclusion story in africa we still have issues of internet the internet is very very poor and uh, some places don't even have internet. So we, 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 we decided also that we want to make soft pay uh, work offline such that even if you are in a, an area where you don't have internet access, you can still use your soft pay and do your payment and do your transactions without internet. So um, this is going to really um, uh, boost the financial inclusion because Right now, most applications or even 99% of applications that carry out services like this or 100% that are available in the market now, you must have access to the internet. And this excludes those who are not in, uh, in regions or in urban areas where they can have access to, to internet easily. So soft pay will solve that problem in Africa. Soft pay will permit even those in rural areas that cannot access internet to still carry out their, their transaction. On a Google Meet interaction with high people, Ngala Cyprian, CEO New Life Technologies, notes that there is still difficult for a user to withdraw the funds received from different mobile money operators onto their network due to lack of interoperability. However, with the open source software Modulop, SoftPay can improve its operations. 40 days, 40 fintechs, we, we, we help us uh, get the opportunity to discuss uh, our to discuss our plans and our future uh, uh, product with uh, with experts. Our plans for Africa with experts. We shall be open to receiving recommendations and um, input from from other organizations. We, we we have the opportunity 
to to interact to 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 talk with uh, uh, with with uh, other organizations that have or companies that have like our visions our vision for Africa other organizations that are, are thinking like us and this will help us add substance to our future plans for Africa and our product to adjust and and be online we will be looking for um, it will give us opportunity to collaborate because we are very we are an open um, company and organization we are open for collaboration with companies that have visions to push Africa uh, forward that we can work together and push the African dream to put that dream forward the plans that we have for Africa so we cannot do it alone and this will be an opportunity to collaborate and meet other companies that we can of collaborate and those that have the same visions like we do and, and above for uh, 40 days um, 40 fintechs uh, is a platform that will permit us this is an opportunity for us to be able to pitch our ideas to pitch our plans to pitch our vision to to uh, to to great investors Innocent Kawoya, CEO High People, commended new life technologies call for the soft pay product. We're amazing uh, with a series of 40 days for the fintech initiative and engaging all the way from Cameroon yeah, with new life technologies, a company that brings you a software solution called soft pay. Uh, new Life Technologies is a company that deals in software development and they are now specializing in developing software for financial inclusion. But a uh, soft pay application and the solution is intriguing and amazing because of how they are thinking to make it so interoperable to allow payments, uh, uh, payments from across the globe, from across Africa, across the, the entire world, interoperably from any bank, from any mobile service provider. Uh, the beauty about the team is that as they think development, the team has been empowered with a number of strong women in the development team, in the administration, and I believe as they do this, they will by any chance include solutions that, that apply to the women's life and, and help women become better uh, as, as far as financial inclusion. Of course, as it's already said, an economy that includes everyone benefits everyone. In that sense, we believe that the easiest way for all operators, fintechs, mobile network operators, the banks and all that, to save and cut costs of developing interoperable solutions uh, for payments is by collaborating, is by using everyone and uh, privileging everyone's coverage so that instead of spending on network infrastructures, you connect with another network and be able to provide the same service. Of course, the thought is going forward, we should begin thinking beyond products and think platforms for interoperability. As 40 days for the fintechs and as high people, we are excited that our soft pay uh, a solution will begin testing with uh, developing a solution of Mojalo. Probably they will adapt a part of it or do a bit of its code or adapt all of it to develop an amazing solution, a new amazing interoperable solution that will play a, a very major role in helping the world uh, achieve full financial inclusion in the due course. We are very thankful to our partners, Mojaloop Foundation, Modest Box, and Crosslex Technologies. Rita Cavanero, Smart24.